All right. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to attempt to upgrade this computer running Windows 7 Professional that doesn't currently have the Windows 10 free upgrade thing in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure what you call it. The the tool thing where it shows the Windows flag and says reserve your copy or whatever. Now Windows 10 is out right now, but this hasn't done it or anything. I've done all the latest Windows updates. So let me have a look. See. Uh, focus, focus. Damn it. No important updates, one optional, which is just Skype, and I don't want that on there. It's not even my computer, this one. This is a friend that I'm doing to try on. Now, um, it meets requirements. It's got 2 gigabytes of RAM. It has a 1.8 gigahertz dual core processor. So, we're within requirements. We've got like a 160 gig hard drive or something. As I say, it's a friend's computer, it's not mine, that one. Uh, I'm also going to be trying it on my laptop. Which has got Windows 7 on it as well. And eventually, if Windows 10 turns out to be okay, I'm maybe upgrading my system, which has actually got the upgrade thing there. Now, um, what we've got to do is go to here, and I've read a few different things on Reddit and stuff, so I'm going to try some of them out. Now, the first one is to clean up your Windows update, which is by going to C, or your Windows Drive. Windows, uh, then you find software distribution and download. You go in here and then you select everything, or you can just press Ctrl and A on the keyboard to select all, and then press the delete button. Are you sure you want to delete all these? Yes, you do. We'll get rid of all that junk now. Um, what this is doing is it's deleting all the Windows Update files it's downloaded and like the cache and everything. And um, what we're going to do then is check for updates, like force the computer to look for them, and then it will download the latest ones if we're missing any. And hopefully then that will uh, give us the free upgrade. But I suppose we'll just see how it goes. You probably get this prompt, you need to provide administrator position, do this for all items, continue. It might ask you to uh, log in or confirm it again or something. But I don't have user account control turned on or anything, and nor does my friend or anything, so we turn that off because it's irritating. Also, also waiting for this, we may as well do the next step, which is uh, what we'll need. Now, if uh, you open a command prompt to do this, I would shift and click on the desktop. So if you hold the shift key down, can't do this with, uh, could use an extra pair of hands here, and then right click, and then it should come up with open command window here and this will open a uh, command prompt next thing you're going to want to type into this so I've got the shaky camera I could use an extra pair of hands really what I've got here in this notepad which is W U A U C L T dot E X E space forward slash update derp, uh, update now with no space so just like that do not press enter just type it in when that finally finishes and we get to this stage you can close out the download folder go to windows update now what you want to do is click on the left here check for updates and whilst this is checking, go back to the command window and press enter. Now it doesn't really do anything, it'll just wait there like that. But that's forced Windows Update now to check for brand new updates. So it will be checking everything. Instead of doing like a half ass check, it will do a full on one because we have nothing on there because we've cleaned that folder out. I would also suggest you empty the recycling bin whilst you're waiting because that's a lot of junk to leave in the recycling bin. Now we just wait for this to do its thing. Okay, it's finished, and I've got no important updates but two optional ones. Now I'm going to go install this definition update, but I ain't doing Skype again. Maybe we have to install this first. I'll install this and see what happens. The update was successfully installed. Alrighty then. Close this, close this, close all this. Now let's restart the computer, and we'll see what happens. I'm just going to save this file. I also type it in again. Uh, w U that'll do. 
There we go. And we'll restart the system. See what happens. Every visit, I always still got no, not much or nothing. There's no update dingy. Let's try Windows update again. Windows update. One update's available. Let me run this command again. Sorry about the very shaky, dodgy camera skill here. But it's uh, hard to control it whilst you're uh, trying to hold the camera as well. I'm going to run that command now. And then I'm going to check. And then I'm going to run it again. And again. Good measure. Maybe this won't work for the system then. Hmm. We might have to try something else if this says no. No important updates are available. Hmm. And I'll be damned if I'm installing Skype on this one, it's not mine. Let me try a tool I found. This is something else I've come across here, which is uh, a web page on the Microsoft website. Focus. Microsoft.com slash en dash gb slash software dash downloads slash Windows 10. It's a downloader for Windows 10 apparently. I've gone to this, you just need to put your license key in and uh, it does its thing. There's a 32 and 64 bit download lower down here. So I'm going to try it. Let's try 32 bit since this is a 32 system. Alright, this is the tool. Windows 10 setup. What do you want to do? Upgrade this PC now, create installation media for another PC. Well, I would like to upgrade this PC now. Next. It's now downloading Windows 10 apparently. And the network thing under control panel shows it is as well. And it's not using both of my internet connections. Well, this is going to take longer than I was hoping. I was hoping it would use both. I have a 13.5 meg connection and a, a 10 meg connection both combined. And uh, yeah, judging from that graph, that's about 13 meg. I'll come back when this is downloaded and I'll show you what else it says. Alright. So it's downloaded it, and now it's apparently creating media, which I just presume means it's preparing to do it. Feel free to keep using your PC, but I ain't doing because I'm not using this at the moment. <laughs> Alright, after a while I've come back, we've got the Windows 10 set up. License terms, July 2015, blah 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 blah, accept. Choose what to keep. There's not much on this computer anyway, because it's only for internet use, but... Okay, getting updates. May take a few minutes, blah blah blah, waiting, waiting. That's access and unavailable. Great. Come on. I'm gonna come up when this is finished. I need your attention. The following thing needs your attention to continue the installation. I'll keep your Windows settings, personal files and apps. Continuing with the installation of Windows will change your display language. To change it back, you'll need to reinstall the language pack. Okay. As long as it doesn't put it up in some other really foreign language, I don't know. I bet it installs it in American by default. No, it's mostly the same. Ready to install, you won't be able to use your PC or Windows install. Save and close your files before you begin to recap you've chosen. Install Windows Temporal, keep personal files and apps. Install. Let's get rid of that. Tell me to turn your PC will restart several times, this might take a while. Yeah, no kidding. Right, some time has passed and we are now upgrading Windows. Your PC will restart several times, sit back and relax. I'd rather use my other PC that's just over there. Anyway, back to this one. Copying files 6%. Installing features and drivers. Configuring settings. I'll keep you posted and when it changes again I'll record a bit more video and attach that. We just rebooted. Something's loading. Hmm. 30% mark. We we're installing features and drivers. Alright, so I went out for a bit. Come back and the computer's asleep. I guess it means it's finished up weird. We'll soon see. Get going fast, okay. Change these settings. Uh, change these at any time, so I'll use express settings to personalize your speech, type in inputs and contacts, blah 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 blah. The windows will protect your location, blah blah. Protect yourself from malicious web content, all that crap. I'm gonna go with the sneaky little customized settings. 
Personalization, personalize your speech, typing and links and by sending contacts and calendar data along with others as you do. Uh, and type in linking data. I'm just going to turn all these off. That window's up. Actually, your location. Nope. Next. But I'll put a new smart screen on so the the image and settle it. Use page predictions to improve reading speed of browsing. Make your robot that will be something like nope. Okay, so you know, automatically connect to suggested open hotspots. Not all networks ask you no. Automatically connect to networks shared by your contacts. No. Send error and diagnostics to Microsoft. No. Not for the time being. Uh, new apps to the new Windows photos, music, Microsoft Edge, film, and TV. Well, so far looks so good. Don't need to send them a shed load of data though, which I ain't doing. Hi. How are you doing? We're setting things up, I think it said. Oh no. Okay, I guess that was never changed. Hi. We're setting things up for you. We'll hurry the hell up about it. This won't take long, I should up, it shouldn't. Setting up your apps. Taking care of a few things? What are you taking care of? I'm going to jump quite a lot of this out as well because this is a lot of waiting to have in a video. I had double the length of the video just sat here waiting for these screens. Do not turn off your PC. No shit, Sherlock. Just a few more tweaks. Oh, let's start. Yes, let's. I've been waiting for bloody long enough. Okay, I guess this is the default. I guess this is the default desktop. There's a missing gap for an icon. Uh, the recycle bin's changed. It's more square. We're still loading as well. It might open something by default. I don't bloody know where. It seems like the upgrade went okay. Oh my god, we've got a start menu. There's a good start. Um, so yeah, I think we're good. Phone companion. I'm not quite sure what a lot of these things are. I've not messed about with it too much yet. Uh, let's try and get into computer information. Alright, I found about system. Windows 10 Pro, as you can see there. Something just came up in the corner. An update is being installed, OneDrive is being updated to the latest version. It just updated Windows, why do we need updates already? Let's go up a bit more without giving away the thing. Intel 2160, that's a dual core, 1.8 GHz in this computer. As I said, it's a friend. 2 gigs of RAM, 32 bit operating system, 64 bit braced processor. Storage, this PC, 47.4 GB used. I'm not sure what was used before and what was free, but it's probably not much more than that. See that task manager. Here we go. Hit the more details. All the nice uh, detailed task manager. This is one of the biggest features for me from like that I like, along with the file transfers where it shows you the speed and the drops and the bar graphs and things. I like all them kind of things, like the back end things they've done. Uptime four hours three minutes, so I guess that was when it finished installing. About four hours ago. I don't know. 0 0.9 gigabytes of RAM being used. 890 meg. Uh, not much hard drive use going on or anything. Not much CPU either. So yeah. The most intense memory is like, well the split rather. The highest is like 27 megabyte. All in all it seems okay. It's Seems quite responsive at the moment. I'm a bit closer because I'm trying to get near the screen and read it and come back at the same time. But yeah. No, it seems it seems okay. It doesn't seem too bad. I'll have to mess about with it a bit before I decide if it's going near any of my main systems though. But there you go. I hope this helps someone out guiding you through the process. Or it just shows you what to expect when you go through it. If you don't want to do it yourself yet, then there you go. Uh, let's try and open something like the internet. Just check that it opens normally. I imagine it should. I'll open up Firefox here. Don't know what's in the recycle bin. Oh, that's the text file from my other Windows. Huh. Okay, so it's even put the recycle bin contents over. I 
get rid of that. Is the internet? Yeah, we want the default browser. What is it opening now? Do I have to really manually change it? Oh wow, I actually have to as well. Okay. Well, there's that. There we go. Yep, that'll uh, conclude for this, I guess. And I'm going to shut it down and thank you for watching anyway, I guess. I hope I helped you in some way. Or it was just uh, educational watching this happen. Is the shutdown screen. I'll leave it going whilst it shuts down. Oh, there we go then. Alright then. Thank you for watching and, uh, okay, thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful. And uh, leave any comments if you've got any problems and I'll try and assist you up upgrading if that's, that you're having problems. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.